Hello guys this is your friend. And we are back with our new fanfic. Which is. What if Sasuke was actually a girl in disguise and she likes Naruto. Part 2. The link of this fanfic is in the description. And if you enjoy this fanfic then please press the like button. And please subscribe to the channel it motivates me to upload more fanfics like these for you all. Now let's start the fanfic. It has been three days since the underwear incident and Naruto was sleeping in the middle of the forest with a bird on top of his head. He was tired from his constant use of his jutsu that he didn't know he was running out of chakra. Kayubi would have given him some of her chakra but she didn't. She wanted to watch Naruto humiliate himself. This is because when Naruto experiences chakra exhaustion, he does random dancing like he was drunk or something. In the meantime someone wearing a pink kimono was walking through the forest. When he, she saw Naruto sleeping. The person went to Naruto and started poking him. Naruto woke up and saw a beautiful girl in front of him. He immediately blushed. Uno what are you doing out here? You can get a cold if you sleep here you know. The girl figure said. Naruto's brain was dead from seeing a cute girl. His animal side which was his fox side wanted to take her and ravage her till he was tired which would be like a few days or so considering the stamina he has due to the fox. Um I was training and no I won't get a cold. I never have. By the way who are you beautiful? Naruto said putting aside his fear. I'm Haku and you. The now known as Haku said as she rolled her eyes at the beautiful comment. They always say that to me when they see me. Haku thought as he cried inwardly. I'm Naruto Uzumaki the next Hokage TT Ibeo. Naruto shouted the last part. Naruto then looked at the basket Haku was carrying. Uno what are you doing? Naruto asked. Haku was surprised. Oh I'm just collecting herbs for a sick friend. Haku said. Oh really? Then can I help? Naruto asked. Haku just smiled and nodded. And they began collecting herbs. It was silent for a while until Haku decided to break the silence. Naruto-san you're a ninja correct? Haku asked. Naruto looked at Haku, yep. And I'm going to be Hokage one day and everyone will acknowledge me, Dadbeo. Naruto shouted. Haku could only giggle. Naruto looked offended that she was giggling at his dream. Hey is something wrong with being Hokage? Naruto asked. No nothing is wrong. It's just funny at the way you said. Haku said then another moment f silence came. Hokage huh? That is a big dream. Do you have something to fight for? Haku asked as he was thinking about his own past. What? Naruto asked confused. Haku smiled. When a person has something important to protect that's when they can truly be strong. Haku said. Naruto took his time to think about all his precious people. So far the current Hokages, the Ikiraku families, his friends Shikamaru's, Choji's and Kiba's faces appeared on his mind. Naruto smiled. Yeah, I understand that very well. Naruto said smiling. Haku smiled back. Haku then stood up and was walking away. You will be strong. Let's meet again somewhere. Haku said. Sure. Naruto said smiling. Then suddenly Haku stopped. Oh and. I'm a boy. Haku said and started to leave again leaving a shocked Naruto. What? There is no way that could be true. I mean he's cuter Kuranai sensei and that's saying something. Naruto inwardly shouted as he saw Haku leave and Sasuke coming towards him glaring at Haku. Kayubi however was having other thoughts. Hmm maybe if I play my cards right I could get a yaoi starting. Kayubi said out loud. I heard that. Naruto yelled at inwardly disgusted at Kayubi's thoughts. Teehee, Kayubi giggled as she stuck her tongue out in a cute way which she failed due to her enormous size. With Satsuki. Satsuki had just woken up from the sound of her portable alarm clock. Sasuke-kun. Wake up. It's breakfast and it's your f-a-v-i-t-r-o-t-e, the alarm clock shouted. Ugh why did she have to wake me up? I was having one of the best dreams of my life. Me and Naruto were, he he he, Satsuki thought perversely. Then she looked around hoping nobody saw her perverted grin. 
With a sign of relief she got of her futon and looked to her side. No Naruto-kun today either. Damn it. I need my Naru time. Satsuki mentally shouted at the sky. When she got ready she headed down to the living room of their clients. When she got there she was greeted by a heart-filled Sakura, a gloomy Inari, a smiling Tsunami, a drunk Tazuna and a Kakashi giggling perversely. Hey Sasuke-kun do you wanna go on a date after breakfast? Sakura said in a fangirl manner. Satsuki signed, no, and Sakura became dejected. She then looked around for the blonde knucklehead but he was nowhere in sight. Where's na dope? Satsuki said. Huff don't know that Baka hasn't come back since yesterday. Sakura said annoyed that Sasuke wasn't talking about her. Satsuki was getting annoyed by her insulting her future lover but was brought out off her thoughts when Kakashi put his book down on the table which shocked her. Sasuke could go out and find Naruto and tell him to come back for breakfast. If he refuses to come tell him that there is ramen and he should come here in matter of seconds. Kakashi said which Satsuki just nodded and acted she didn't want to but in the inside she was jumping for joy. He should be at the forest where we had our training maybe even a little farther. Kakashi said after which he picked up his book and went back to Reading. Showing serious Kakashi for a few seconds. Satsuki left leaving a banshee shouting, Naruto should just die of starvation. With a sign she started to look for Naruto. She had gone to the clearing where the team minus Naruto did tree walking exercise. But he wasn't there. She was about to go back until she heard someone shout out about being Hokage. I'm going to be Hokage Dadbeo. Only one person shouts that. Satsuki thought excited that she could get some alone time with the blonde enigma. When she went to the clearing Naruto was in she saw he was talking to a girl which pissed her off. That bitch he, mine. Satsuki thought inwardly seething. Oh and, I'm a boy. The girly boy said, which shocked Satsuki. 0.0 there is no way she is a boy mean she's cuter than Kuranai and cuter than me. Satsuki thought. When the boy was leaving Satsuki was glaring at him thinking that he was lying about being a boy. When the boy was out of sight Satsuki looked at Naruto who was crossed leg in a thinking position mumbling something about the world being a mysterious place. She then realized she and Naruto were alone. This is perfect I can tell him my secret. Satsuki thought. H hey Nar. But she wasn't able to finish as Naruto started to yell. Ah that's gross I don't roll that way. Naruto shouted. Satsuki looked shocked at Naruto's outburst and then blushed when Naruto stared at her. What do you want him? Naruto asked angrily. Satsuki was saddened and was about to cry that he kept calling her that. I wish he would call me something more girly, like Suki-chan or Kuroheim, Satsuki thought sadly. But she stopped her moping and got her act together. Kakashi-sensei said come back to the house for breakfast. Satsuki said in Sasuke's broody voice. Naruto just nodded and walked past her without giving a glance. Naruto left the clearing with Satsuki following behind him thinking of ways to tell him the truth about her. But she was broken out of her thoughts when Sakura Banshee screamed he male name. She of course was getting sick of it so she knocked her out by pressing a pressure point. She then turned her head to the group of people who were half shocked. Do any of you have a problem? Satsuki said as Sasuke. And all the people turned their left and right indicating no. Good. Satsuki said as she went and sat beside Naruto and started eating Tsunami's cooking. No matter how much she wanted to deny it Tsunami's cooking was the best she had ever since her mother died. She was sad but then she remembered she still had Naruto even though he doesn't realize it. She looked at Naruto and blushed but kept it hidden. Tsunami saw this and was happy for the girl but sad that she couldn't reveal who she really is. While they were eating Sakura woke up and started Banshee screaming and blaming Naruto for being knocked out. Kakashi wanting to read his porn without any interruption told Sakura to eat and not to talk in a commanding voice. Sakura obeyed. While eating Satsuki was trying to get closer to Naruto who in turn kept going farther away from her. 
When breakfast finished Kakashi told the team to guard Tazuna. Naruto said he wanted to keep training which Kakashi gave permission. Naruto left leaving his teammates to discuss about their schedule. With Naruto. Naruto was walking all the way to the clearing he was at before going back to the house for breakfast and where he met Haku. The fact that Haku was a boy and was more girly than Sakura, Ino and even Hanada. Strange world. Naruto thought. When he got to the clearing he did kajbunshins and told him do to start training. The clones shouted and started but Naruto on the other hand was thinking about all the crazy things that happened. First the mysterious girl in the bathroom, then the orange panties, then the boy-girl incident. Seriously what is happening here? Naruto thought. Don't forget. Sasuke, liking you. Kayubi said. Yeah that. Naruto replied then a few seconds passed and he realized what he said to Kayubi. What? That? S not true. Naruto yelled out loud. Calm down Kit. No need to shout I'm right here you know. Kayubi said. Take that back then. There is no way Sasuke likes me. For one thing we are both guys. Naruto yelled at Kayubi. Then if he was a girl then would that change? Kayubi asked. Naruto thought about it but stopped himself, hell no. Even if he turned into a girl his attitude would still be there. That emo bastard won't find a normal girl that would go out with him. Naruto said. What if it's not a girl emo bastard is looking for what if, he's, looking for, but Kayubi wasn't able to finish as Naruto disconnected the link. Seriously is that all she thinks about? Aero Kitsune. Naruto shouted in his mind and went back to training. Dawn 7 to 8 p.m. Naruto and his clones were all exhausted trying to figure a way to get the jutsu the Kayubi taught him to do. He later told all the Kajbunshins to go one at a time but all of them went at the same time which later gave the original Naruto a major headache as he was clutching his head from all the information his clones gained. Just then Satsuki came and looked at Naruto in a funny position while screaming. Um you okay? Satsuki said worried. Yeah just a headache. Naruto replied. Well then let's go back there are some painkillers in my bag. Satsuki said. Naruto looked at Satsuki who was disguised as Sasuke which he didn't know. Don't. Need it. Naruto said as he still felt the pain. Either way you have to come back. Kakashi gave an order for you to come back in report of your training and then eat. Satsuki said in Sasuke's emotional voice. Naruto nodded and went ahead making Satsuki walking behind Naruto. I need to tell him. We're alone now, no howler monkey, pervert or drunk bridge builder in sight. Satsuki said as she looked around the forest. Um nah, but she was interrupted by Sakura. Sasuke-kun. Sakura came and tackled Satsuki. Satsuki was annoyed. Get off of me. Satsuki yelled which surprised both Sakura and Naruto. Considering. He. Never shouted before. S Sasuke K Kun. Sakura stuttered. I've had it with you. Stop following me around. Satsuki yelled at Sakura with Sasuke's voice. Naruto broke out of his stupor and looked at Satsuki. Don't waste your time Tem. She won't listen she'll be back to her fangirling self within 10 minutes. Just leave her and let's go. I'm starved. Naruto said in a serious and dark tone which made both Satsuki and Sakura flinch. But it turned Satsuki on with his commanding voice. Wow. Satsuki thought as she gave a squeal in her head. She followed Naruto leaving a depressed Sakura in the forest. When they reached Tazuna's house both of them had a race as to who can go to the dinner table first. It was won by Satsuki who looked at Naruto yelling that he would beat her one day. This made her smile internally thinking he was cute. When they sat down Sakura came in and started asking Sasuke for a date. Much to the annoyance of the people in the room. Itadakimas. Naruto yelled as he gobbled all the food. Satsuki was looking at Naruto as he gobbled all the food Tsunami put on the table. Note to self ask Tsunami-san to give me the recipe for all these foods. Satsuki thought. Unknown to them the boy named Inari was glaring at them. Ah. That was delicious. 
Second best food I have ever tasted. Naruto yells out. Everyone looks at Naruto when said that and Tsunami looked sad that her cooking was second best. Why is it second best? Tsunami asked and everyone nodded in agreement with Tsunami all except Inari and Satsuki. Inari because he could care less and Satsuki because she knew Naruto's favorite food. That's because ramen is God's food. N-A-O-T-H-I-N-G beats ramen. Naruto yelled as he put his hands up. Kakashi signed and made a mental note to break him of his ramen. Satsuki was nodding her head agreeing of course no one saw. Tsunami giggled. Tazuna was laughing and Sakura was fangirling over, Sasuke. Inari looked at the laughing blonde and the rest of the group as if they didn't give a damn about anything. He finally had enough and stood up and shouted. Why do you guys bother to try so hard? No matter how hard you train you're no match for Gatu's men. No matter what glorious claim you make or how hard you work. When facing the strong the weak will only end up getting killed. Inari yelled out. Everyone was looking at Inari while Naruto and Satsuki were remembering their past. Well Naruto was remembering his past while Satsuki was remembering hers and Naruto's. Whatever kid I'm not like. Naruto said. I'd hate to be like you. You don't know anything about this country yet you're running around being so noisy. What do you know about me? I'm different from you. You're always clowning around and acting so cheerful you don't know how hard life can be. Inari shouted at Naruto. Something in Naruto snapped. I really want to kill the brat. Naruto thought. Damn right. Kayubi said in agreement. So it's okay for you pose as a star of a tragedy and cry all day. Naruto said darkly with a little of Kayubi's voice. Quote exclamation mark quote. Inari was shocked. Just keep crying all day idiot. You sissy. Naruto said darkly. Inari cried even more. Naruto got up and left the table with Satsuki looking at his retreating figure. Naruto. You've said enough. The pink-haired banshee screeched. Satsuki was about to go after Naruto until Kakashi told him to leave him alone that he needed to cool his head. Satsuki was pissed at Kakashi. He was supposed to act as a sensei and go check if he was okay. TCH he needs to cool his head. Please what he needs is a friend and that's me. Actually I'm his secret lover. Admirer. Slave. Oh who cares I'll figure it out later. Satsuki thought as she got up and went after Naruto disobeying Kakashi's orders. If you call it that. Time skip. Two weeks had passed since Team 7 came to wave. Goodbye. Please take off Naruto. He pushed Ho's body over the limit he may not be able to move his body. Kakashi said to Tsunami. Okay. Tsunami said happily. Sakura of course was happy she got to be with. Sasuke. For the whole day. Cha now that annoying Naruto is out of the we finally have the chance to ask Sasuke out without any distraction. Cha. Inner Sakura screeched. Cha Sasuke kun is mine. Eat that inopig. Sakura shouted in her mind. Satsuki on the other hand wanted to stay behind she wanted to help. She even asked if she could stay back and take care of Naruto. But all she got was, our mission is to guard Tazuna not Naruto. Naruto is an adult now he can take of himself. She huffed him annoyance she wanted to try some techniques she heard from a certain purple haired Jonan said once when she went to the dango stand. And with that they set to the bridge where their boring mission of protecting and watching Tazuna and other old geezers building the bridge. When they got to the bridge they saw all the workers on the ground. Okay maybe not boring anymore. Satsuki thought. With Naruto. Ah, I overslept. Naruto shouted as he went to Tsunami. Hey hey where's everyone? Naruto asked Tsunami as he turned his left and right looking for his team. Oh Naruto you're already awake. Sensei said you should rest, but Tsunami never got to finish as Naruto ran to his temporary room and took of his pajamas and into his awesome kill me orange jumpsuit. I knew it they left me behind, I'm off. Naruto shouted. Ann. Same thing happened with the bandit seemed too tired to explain. At the bridge, 
Tazuna and Team 7 minus Naruto arrived at the scene of a slaughter. W what happened? Tazuna shouted as he started to panic. Cough spitting out blood, a a monster. The worker Tazuna held in his arms said. Can it be? Kakashi thought. Suddenly mist started. This mist. Kakashi thought. Here they come. Kakashi yelled out. Everyone went into position and defending Tazuna. So he is still alive. Kakashi thought. Kakashi sensei this is. This the hidden mist jutsu right? Sakura yelled. Satsuki on the other hand was shaking. Yo Kakashi long time no see. I see you're still with the brats. He's shaking again poor brat. Zabuza said in the mist. Then suddenly seven Zabuza appeared. I'm shaking from excitement. Satsuki said as Sasuke with a smirk on his face. HMPH, Zabuza thought. Do it Sasuke, Kakashi said with a eye smile. Both Satsuki and Zabuza clones went to kill each other. Satsuki managed to kill all the water clones. You can't fool me. If I can't do something like this then Naruto won't accept me. Satsuki thought. It looks like the brats have grown, seems like you have a rival a eh, Haku. Zabuza said. It does indeed, said the ninja with a mist hunter nin mask now known as a Haku. It seems my think was right on the mark, Kakashi said. Huh, Sakura said confused. The masked one is obviously working for Zabuza. Kakashi explained. He should take that mask off and face us. Sakura Banshee screamed. I'll fight him, Satsuki said in an emo voice. Huh, Sakura turned to. Sasuke. Thricking us with that stupid act, I hate bastards like that the most. Satsuki said, and besides this bastard is the same name as that girl, boy that met my Naruto-kun in the forest the day. I'll kill you for trying to steal my Naru-kun. Satsuki thought, you're so cool, Sakura said in a fangirl way. She is way too hung up on him, Kakashi thought while looking at Sakura. An impressive young man, even though water clones have one-tenth of the strength the original, still very impressive. Haku said. Yes but we have gained the first advantage. Go. Zabuza ordered Haku. Hi. Haku said as he disappeared and appeared in front of Satsuki. What is that fast? Satsuki thought. Satsuki managed to block the masked nin attack. Hem he can keep up with Haku's speed interesting, Zabuza thought. Sakura stand in front to Zuna and don't leave his side. We'll let Sasuke handle him. Kakashi said. Yeah, Sakura said. I don't want to kill but you won't stand down will you? Haku said. Don't be foolish, Satsuki said with a smirk. I don't care if you don't want to kill me. All that matters is that I want to kill you bitch for even looking at my Naru-kun. Satsuki thought. I see but you won't be able to keep up with my speed next. Especially since I gained two advantages. Haku said. Two advantages? Satsuki asked confused. Yes the first being that we are surrounded by water and the second is that I have occupied one off your arms. You won't be able to block this. Haku said as he got his left doing hand sign. What? With only one hand? Satsuki thought. One hand? I've never seen something like that before. Kakashi thought. Special jutsu flying water needles, Haku said. The water surrounding them turned to water needles all aimed at Satsuki. Doesn't want to kill. Is that true? Zabuza thought. Sasuke-kun. Sakura screamed. Remember the training? Concentrate my chakra to my feet. Satsuki thought as she brought her free hand in front of her and form a half ram seal. When the needles came Satsuki was gone. He's gone. Haku thought surprised then three shuriken came towards him Haku back flipped three times to avoid them. You're pretty slow. From now on you'll only be able to run from my attacks. Satsuki said from behind Haku. Satsuki attacked Haim but Haku dodged all the hits except the last kick Satsuki gave him which was aimed at his stomach. Haku went back to Zabuza to lessen the pain. What? Haku lost in speed. Zabuza thought as he was shocked at what he saw. Looks like I have the advantage in speed. Satsuki said arrogantly. I can't have you underestimating my team by calling them, brats, 
Sasuke is Leaf Village's number one rook. Sakura is the brightest in the village, Sakura, Cha, and the other one is the show-off, hyperactive, number one loudest ninja in the village. Kakashi said, Naruto-kun isn't loud and he's not a knucklehead. Besides he's way better than me. When I get my hands on you Kakashi I'll kill you. Satsuki thought as Kakashi felt a shiver. Hehehe <laughs> ha 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 ha. Zabuza started to laugh. Satsuki. Haku do you realize that we will be pushed back? Zabuza said to his apprentice. Yeah, we can't have that. Haku said as he made a sign. What's that chill? Satsuki thought. Special Jutsu Demonic Ice Mirrors, Haku said and the water surrounding Satsuki changed into ice mirrors. What's this Jutsu? Kakashi thought as he started to panic. Haku then stepped into the ice mirror and the entire ice mirror had a reflection of Haku. Damn it, Kakashi said as he charged to the mirrors. Hey your opponent is me. Against that Jutsu he's finished. Zabuza said as he blocks Kakashi. Well shall we begin, Haku said. W what are these mirrors? Satsuki said. Now I'll show you my real speed. Haku said. Satsuki was then hit by a barrage of attacks from all direction. Sasuke. Kakashi shouted. Gwa. Satsuki screamed. If you get by then I'll kill those two behind you. Zabuza said. Damn. Kakashi said. Sasuke-kun. Sakura hollered. Ah. Sasuke was still being barraged. I'm sorry Tazuna-san I'm going to leave you for a moment. Sakura said as she got out a kanai. Yago. Yeah, Tazuna said as he saw Sakura in the eye. Sasuke-kun. Sakura screamed as she threw her kanai at the mirror. However Haku caught. He blocked it. Sakura thought in surprise. But then a shuriken came towards Haku which scratched his mask making him fall out of the ice mirror. Haku. Yuji. This got the attention of both Zabuza and Kakashi as they looked at the source of the smoke bomb. Who? Sakura asked. Naruto-kun you came. Satsuki thought as she was lying on the ground bleeding. Hyperactive. Number one loudest ninja. Haku thought. Uzumaki Naruto. Has final arrived. Naruto shouted making his grand appearance. Naruto had just made his entrance was getting a major headache from Kayubi. You dumb idiot I thought I told you to sneak in not make a dramatic entry. Why oh why did I have to be sealed in a dumb blonde like you? I'd rather be sealed in that bimbo Yamanaka than you right now. Kayubi yelled in Naruto's head. Alright already I get that you're pissed but what's done is done. Naruto s said back to Kayubi. Kyubi just puffed her cheeks. If you get killed I'll bring you back to life and torture you and eat you. Understand, Kayubi said. Wouldn't you die as well? Naruto said. Kayubi glared at Naruto making him shrink in his mindscape. I said. Understand, Kayubi said viciously Naruto nodded. Naruto was about to say something but was brought out of mindscape when he heard his banshee teammate screech. Naruto Yubaka stop trying to show off. You'll never be like Sasuke-kun. Sakura yelled. Sign what I do to put up with these people. Naruto thought. Your fault. If you had just listened to me we wouldn't have had to go deaf now would we? Kayubi said still angry. Alright already I'll listen to you next time just let me shine in the spotlight for once. Naruto said back to the fox. Whatever. Huff. Kayubi said. Zabuza threw some shurikens at Naruto. Naruto was ready to block them but the shurikens dropped from being hit by Sinban needles. Everyone turned their attention to Haku. Haku what are you doing? Zabuza asked. Zabuza sama these kids, let me fight them my way. Haku said. So you don't want me to interfere? Haku you're too soft, fine have it your way. Zabuza said. Arigato Zabuza sama. Haku said, Naruto helps Sasuke out with Zabaza's partner. He has a Kekai Genkei so watch out. Kakashi said as he blocked Zabuza's strike. Yash, let's get this party started, Naruto said as he fist bumped the sky. Naruto-kun looks awesome. Ouch. Sasuke thought as he got hit by another Sinban from the Ice Nin. 
Damn this bastard. I was just about to imagine Naruto confessing to me. I'm going kill him. Satsuki thought with fire in her eyes. Haku was looking at Naruto and remembering their conversation. Yo, Sasuke Tem I came here to save you. Naruto whispered to Satsuki. Everyone face faulted except Kakashi, and Zabuza they face palmed. Haku and Satsuki were surprised. Baka, you're supposed to help Sasuke kun not get in his way. Sakura Banshee screeched. Satsuki on the other hand was blushing up a storm due to Naruto and her face being so close together. In Naruto-kun's face is so close. Is he going to kiss me? Satsuki thought and was about kiss Naruto but was interrupted. I see you came Ninja-san. Haku said. Naruto turned his head. Of course. How do you expect a party to start without the main guest? Naruto shouted. Is that a rhetorical question? Haku asked. I don't know. Naruto said while think what a rhetorical question is. Enough just fight. Zabuza shouted. Haku nodded as he took out his Sinban needles ready to attack Satsuki and Naruto. This will be your final battle. Haku said to Satsuki. Hey yeah right. Cage Bunshin no Jutsu. Naruto shouted as five Naruto clones appeared and surrounded him and Satsuki. Do you really think clones will save you? Haku said as he moved through the mirrors destroying the clones in the process and putting needles in both Naruto and Satsuki. Well I was sort hoping it would. Naruto said as he turned to Satsuki. Oi Tem why didn't you melt the ice with your Kaidenjutsu? Naruto asked thinking that the Uchiha was stupid. I did but the ice is a Keke Genke and can't be melted. Satsuki said almost disappointed at herself for not being any use to Naruto. I see. Naruto said to himself. Kit use the new jutsu I taught you. Kayubi said. Are you sure? I mean Tem said that fur jutsus aren't going to work. Naruto said. No this one will. This jutsu can burn through anything. It is a jutsu that is on the same level as Amaterasu only you don't need a blasted Sharingan to use it. Kayubi said. Right. But I'll use it later. I want to let this guy's guard down so that when I use it he'll be killed in the process. Naruto said to Kayubi and Kayubi nodded in agreement. Sounds good. Kayubi said. The battle between Haku and Naruto and Satsuki kept going and Satsuki was getting tired from all the jumping and avoiding. She noticed that Naruto wasn't tired at all. She was surprised. He was dodging and using clones left and right and yet he still isn't tired. I used my fireball jutsu like two times and I'm tired as hell. Satsuki thought amazed at Naruto's stamina. I wonder how long he lasts in bed with that stamina. Satsuki thought as her mind was drifting off. Naruto on the other hand had chills running down his back. Someone is thinking of doing perverted things to me. Naruto thought. Maybe it's that purple-haired vixen. Kayubi said. Which one? Naruto asked. The one that controls snakes. I mean when she looks at you I can see her undressing you with her eyes. Kayubi said. Don't remind me. She almost raped me when we played hide and seek a year ago. Naruto said shivering from the memory. Ah good tea. Kayubi was interrupted by Haku. Becoming a true shinobi is difficult for me. If possible I wouldn't want to kill you. Nor want you to kill me. But if you come at me I can destroy my heart in an instant and become a true shinobi. This bridge is the place where we fight, to connect to our dreams. Haku started his speech. Kit kill this bastard for interrupting me the nine tails, but sadly she was interrupted again. Me for my dream. And you for yours. Please don't hate me. Haku said. Kit set me free I want to, alas Kayubi was interrupted again. She could only growl. I want to protect the people that are precious to me. To work for that person. To fight for that person. To make that person's dream come true. That is my dream. For that I can become a shinobi and I can kill you. Haku said as everyone was looking at him except Kayubi was glaring at him thinking of hundred ways to torture him and kill him. Sasuke-kun beat that bastard. Sakura shouted. Sakura don't egg then on. Kakashi said. What? Why? 
Sakura asked. Even if they could beat that technique they won't be able to beat the boy. Kakashi said sadly. What do you mean? Sakura asked. Hehehehehe they don't have the will to destroy their hearts and kill another person. Haku knows the meaning of true pain of being a shinobi. A real shinobi can't be created from a peaceful village like your village. Because you can't gain the most important thing to become a shinobi. The experience of killing. Zabuza said laughing at the end. Oi no brows shut up. Naruto shouted. Zabuza stopped laughing. Oi Gaki what did you say? Zabuza said mincingly. I said shut up. How would you know I didn't kill anyone in my life? You don't know me. Naruto said. Watch it Gaki or I'll skin you alive. Zabuza said. Yeah right. Naruto said. You think you're strong Gaki? Zabuza asked Naruto. Hell yes. If I'm not strong then I can't become Hokage no brows. Shish I thought you being AA ranked nin would know that. Naruto said and Zabuza was getting pissed. That brat. Zabuza thought. Ninja-san I think you should stop talking. Haku said getting worried for the young Jinchuriki. Oi Gaki you can't even get out of Haku's ice mirrors what makes you think you can talk big? Zabuza said trying stay calm. Kakashi at first was going to tell Naruto to stay Kate but when he noticed Zabuza getting angry he stopped himself. Naruto's taunting is getting on Zabuza's nerve. Now Zabuza's sure to make mistakes. Keep on going Naruto. Kakashi thought getting ready to strike when Zabuza losses control of his emotion. You mean this pathetic waste of chakra. Please I can destroy this anytime I want. Naruto said. Naruto Baka shut up. Stop showing off. Sakura Banshee screeched. I can't believe I'm agreeing with Sakura but she's right Naruto is pushing it. What is he planning to do? Satsuki thought getting scared for Naruto. Oh looks like you got a big head. Zabuza said. At least I have eyebrows on my big head. Naruto countered. You damn gaki. Zabuza said charging at Naruto but was stopped when Kakashi blocked it with his kanai and kicked Zabuza in the guts pushing him back. Naruto that's enough. Don't taunt him any further. Kakashi said. How am I taunting when I'm telling the truth? Naruto said with his hands behind his head in a carefree nature. Naruto get serious. Kakashi said. TCH whatever. Naruto said as he faced Haku's direction and was doing a number of hand signs finally landing on the tiger symbol. Let's do this. Dadbeo. Kaden. Sea of white flames. Naruto shouted. As he connected his index finger and thumb and blowing through the hole. People were shocked at the jutsu Naruto used. Naruto blew out white flames instead of reddish, yellowish, and orange color. Haku was too shocked at the color of the flames that he didn't notice that his ice was melting. When he did it was too late to jump to another. Haku jumped out and landed on the ground. But he didn't get out unharmed. Haku left hand and left leg was burnt. How did he burn the ice? Were the thoughts of all the people present, except for one, Naruto-kun is so cool. H-ho how did you melt my ice? Haku asked scared while wincing from the burn he received. He he not so tough now huh? How I melted it? Well isn't it obvious I used fire? Come on how can you be a true shinobi if you don't know that ice can melt if the surrounding is heated? Naruto said. That's it kit. Show that bastard more fear. Then burn him alive. Ha 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 you see that bastard that's your punishment for interrupting me the nine tails f. Kayubi was interrupted again but this time not by Haku. There is no way can Naruto Baka do that. Yeah I bet it was Sasuke-kun. Yeah it was Sasuke-kun. Sakura screeched. Kill that bitch. Kyubi said in rage. Naruto was sweat dropping. Wow you're really not having a good day are you? Naruto said. His only answer was a growl. How did you melt my ice? My ice was made from my keke jenke it is impossible to melt it let alone scratch it. Haku yelled. Sign find my jutsu kaden. Sea of white flames is a jutsu that rivals Amaterasu. It has the same effect has to burn everything. However unlike Amaterasu my jutsu is can be put out with large supply of water. 
Naruto said, which only got him confused looks and one look of admiration from the person he least expected Sasuke. What the hell? Naruto thought as he looked at Sasuke. What are you talking about? What is Amaterasu? And what do you mean unlike Amaterasu your jutsu can be put out? Haku asked. Naruto signed. Idiots. Why do I even have to explain myself anyway? Not like anyone's going to believe me the dope of the village can do a SS rank jutsu that can burn the whole village to ashes. Naruto thought. It makes you look smart for a change. Kayubi said. HN whatever. Naruto replied and went back to answering their questions. Amaterasu is a Sharingan technique that releases eternal black flames. These flames will never die out and will keep burning for eternity not even if you pour the ocean will the flames be put out. So if Amaterasu to be used on you not even your ashes would remain. Naruto said shocking everyone. Ha look at those fools faces I wish you had a camera to take a picture. Kayubi said Naruto mentally nodded. Remind me next time. Naruto said. The same thing with my jutsu. Except you can put it out but you're going to probably need 5 Tobarama to put it out. Both jutsus are similar like they can burn anything in their path but only difference is one needs the Sharingan. And one can be put out and the other can't. Naruto said as he saw his audience gape like fishes all except Sasuke. Why the hell is he looking at me like that? Naruto thought and Kayubi snickered. So cool. This proves that I'm going to bear Naruto-kun's babies. Once we go back to Konoha I'll have Hokage-sama make a marriage contract between us. Satsuki thought. When did Naruto learn a technique like that? Maybe if I ask he'll teach Sasuke. Kakashi thought. Naruto Baka can show intelligence. Sakura thought. Cha. He's smarter than you. Inner Sakura shouted. No he's not I'm the smartest in the academy. Sakura mentally shouted. Cha. You don't even understand what Naruto said about those jutsus. He's smarter than you ha ha ha. Inner Sakura said. We didn't even learn those in the academy. That's right I bet he's making this up. He's trying to look cooler than Sasuke. Ha that's it. Sakura said losing her mind. This brat is going to be trouble I need to kill Kakashi fast and then go after him. I thought the Uchiha brat was going to be an obstacle but it the loud mouth brat is stronger than everyone present. If he uses that jutsu again Haku's going to die. Zabuza thought as he increased the fog around them. I I can't believe this. I failed you Zabuza sama. Haku thought crying behind his mask. Yash. Let's finish this fight. Naruto said as he ran forward to attack Haku. No, not yet even if he destroyed my ice I can still be of some use to Zabuza-sama. By killing his teammate, Haku thought as he blocked Naruto's fist and threw him backwards. Haku took out Sanban needles and threw them at Naruto aiming at his pressure points. Satsuki saw this and went in to cover her love. The needles hit Satsuki and she was coughing up blood. Naruto who was behind Satsuki looked at her and was shocked. Oh oi tem what? But Naruto then looked at Satsuki and saw that she had taken the needles that was aimed at him. Tem why would you? Naruto said. It's because I love you. I wish me and you could have at least gotten married before I died. But I can't even have one of my wishes granted. Satsuki thought. I don't know. Satsuki said smiling. Satsuki dropped down and Naruto caught her. Naruto I wanted to find my brother and ask him why he killed the clan. Cough Naruto can you do that for me? Satsuki said. Naruto nodded. Is this the first time you see a comrade die in front of you? Haku asked. Shut up. Naruto said. This is the life of a true shinobi. You kill or are killed. Your friend understood that and saved you. Haku said. Shut up. What do you understand? Sasuke was a jackass and he had a stick up his ass but he was still strong he still followed his dream even when he saw his family die in front of him. Naruto said as his hair was covering his eyes. Naruto stared at Haku. I'm going to kill you. Same thing happens and yes he crashes through an ice mirror mostly because Naruto didn't aim at all the ice he aimed at the one that Haku was in. 
skip to Haku dying and Zabuza breaking both his arms. Naruto where is Sasuke-kun? Sakura shouted to Naruto. Naruto gave a sad look and looked away from Sakura. Sakura saw this and was scared. No. No way Sasuke-kun can't. Sakura started crying as she ran to where Satsuki was laying down. Tazuna followed her so that she didn't get in trouble by her sensei for disobeying his orders. When they reached Sasuke's body Sakura was crying took Sasuke's head on her lap. I loved him. I really wnted to help him fulfill his dream and be with by his side. But now, Sakura said crying. Tazuna looked away. This is the life of a shinobi. Tazuna thought remembering what Haku was talking about. Even though Sakura was crying she let her perverted mind work. Her hand was touching Sasuke's and inside her mind she was laughing that she was able to touch his body but then noticed something. Huh. Sakura thought as she stopped crying and looked at Sasuke. Well I see you can't even perform one simple job Zabuza. Ha 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 you look pathetic. People call the demon but all I see is demon wannabe. Gato said as his followers all join in. Gato then looks to Haku's dead body. And this bastard I still have to pay you back for breaking my arm. Gato said as he kicked Haku's face. Naruto was getting angry at the fat bastard. He then glared at Zabuza. Why aren't you doing anything? Haku protected you he believed you and yet you're letting that fat asshole taunt his dead body. He threw away his life for you. Without his own dreams, to die as a tool, you bastard you're worse than scum. You're. Naruto shouted crying but was interrupted by Kakashi covering his mouth. Enough Naruto. Kakashi said. But. But Naruto was interrupted by Zabuza. Kid not another word brat. Zabuza said as he started to cry. You don't need to say another word. Zabuza said Naruto looked at Zabuza tears coming down his own face. Kid it pained him to have to fight you. Haku not only fought for me not also for you guys too. He was too kind. You may be right I am scum. A shinobi is still human. Not an emotionless tool. I've lost. Kid let me borrow your kunai. Zabuza said. Naruto was surprised but nodded. He took out his kanai and threw it to Zabuza who caught it with his mouth. Zabuza ran towards Gato ready to kill him. Gato ran back to his mercenaries. That's enough kill them. Gato said. You got it. One badly injured ninja can't do anything against us. One of Gato's followers said. But then noticed the shadow that formed behind Zabuza. A.A. Demon. The one that talked thought. Zabuza cut through the crowd getting stabbed and cuts but he finally got to where Gato was. If you want to join your friend then go yourself. Gato said scared. I may not be able to go to where Haku is but I'm going to take you with to hell. Don't worry I'll give you a tour. Even the demon of the mist can become a real devil in hell. This will be fun. Zabuza shouted as he cut of Gato's head. This is goodbye Haku. Thank you for everything, Zabuza thought. Naruto saw this and was looking away. Don't look away. This is the end of a man who lived a difficult life. Kakashi said. Naruto nodded. Yeah, Naruto said sadly. Hi. -ay. A screech from their back made them turn their attention. What the hell is wrong now? Kakashi groaned as he looked at his pink-haired student who weren't even in danger. SSS Sasuke KK Kunai is, and she fainted. Tazuna was gaping like a fish. What's going on? Kakashi shouted and Tazuna just point down on Sasuke's body. Sasuke groaned and stood up. Which made both Naruto and Kakashi pop their eyes out. Shut up I'm trying to dream about my wedding with Naruto-kun. Satsuki shouted. Then looked around and saw her teammates that were awake and Tazuna stare at her. When she noticed Naruto stare at her she blushed. W what are you staring at? She said timidly. Naruto and Kakashi just looked at her and pointed. Satsuki looked at where there were pointing and saw that her t-shirt was pulled up and she was shooing her breast. She covered them and screamed while squatted down. Kya. Satsuki screamed. Naruto-kun saw me xd and Kakashi-sensei and Tazuna-san tt carrot tt. 
Satsuki thought with anime tears coming down. Both Naruto and Kakashi were broken out of their trance when they heard Gato's men talk. Oi you bastard killed it out meal ticket. Now how are we supposed to eat? One of the men said. Hey even if Gato died we can still take whatever we want from the village. And these ninjas are already exhausted we easily kill them. Another shout which was followed by loud cheers from the group and charged at them. Naruto turned towards Kakashi. Hey sensei don't you have any jutsus to help us in this situation? Naruto asked. I can't after the Chidori, summoning jutsu, and Sharingan I ran out chakra. Kakashi said. Then an arrow came shooting down down between the two groups. The charging group stopped and looked who shot the arrow. They were surprised at who it was. If you come any further to our island the citizens of this country will come at you with everything we've got. The citizen of Wave shouted. In the front of the group was Inari. Inari, you. Tazuna said ready to cry. Inari. Naruto shouted. He he a hero comes at the last second right. Inari said with a big smile on his face. Of course. Now let me help as well. Cage Bunshin no Jutsu. Naruto said as five Naruto's appeared. A. Hey, Gato's men was scared. Hum I can always use that. It might fool them. Kakashi thought as he put his fingers in a cross. Cage Bunshin no Jutsu. Kakashi version. Kakashi said as a large amount of Kakashi appeared. G A A A A A H H. Gato's followers said. Now you want some of this. Kakashi said. No we don't. One of Gato's followers said. Let's get out of here. Another said as all of Gato's men left running and screaming. Both Naruto's and Kakashi's clones dispelled leaving a large amount of smoke giving up. Kakashi walked over to Zabuza. It looks like it's over a eh, Kakashi. Zabuza said. Yes. Kakashi answered. Kakashi I have a request. Zabuza said. What is it? Kakashi said. I want to see his face. Zabuza said. Sure. Kakashi replied as he put his Hayati to cover his Sharingan eye. Kakashi picked up Zabuza's body and went over to Haku. Then it suddenly started to snow. It's snowing. Naruto said surprised. Snow at this time of the year. One of the villagers said. Haku are you crying? Zabuza thought. Kakashi put Zabuza beside Haku. Thanks Kakashi. Zabuza said. You have always been by my side Haku. So this time I'd like to be beside yours. Zabuza thought as he tried to put his hand on Haku. If I could I would like to go to the same place as you Haku. Zabuza said and it started to snow more. He was born in a snowy village. Naruto said as he started to cry. I see he was a boy as pure as snow. Kakashi said. You will be able to go Zabuza, together. Kakashi thought. Back at Tazuna's house. So now on to business how long are you going to stay in that henge tem? Naruto said pissed that the arrogant Uchiha was using his jutsu. Satsuki mumbled. Hud didn't catch that. Naruto said as he and Kakashi both got close to Satsuki. I was born a girl. This isn't a henge. Sasuke was a henge. Satsuki yelled. Huh. Both Naruto's and Kakashi's world shattered. So everything I knew was, Naruto said. Ha 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 I told you didn't I ha 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 ha. Kayubi was laughing her ass off and rolling her cage. You knew about this. Naruto yelled which scared Satsuki and made everyone in the room stare street him. Oi Gaki keep it down. Kayubi said still laughing. Naruto-kun, are you okay? Satsuki asked worried. Naruto looked at her. Ah yeah just talking to myself. Naruto laughed nervously. But then he noticed what Satsuki said. Naruto-kun. Naruto thought. Sasuke did you just use kun in my name? Naruto asked. Satsuki nodded. It's Satsuki Naruto-kun. Satsuki said scared and sad. Why yeah. Naruto said stuttering. What is wrong with her? She's acting like Hanada except she's not fainting. Naruto thought. That's because she likes you, Kayubi said. No, that's wrong. We're both guys in, but Naruto was interrupted. Hey blonde take a good look. Does that look like a boy? No, 
She has breast and big one for her age. And if you ask politely she might let you see her nether region. Kayubi said still laughing. Naruto looked at Satsuki, then at her breast and it was true it was pretty big for someone their age. And then looked more down and blushed and smoke and visible smoke was coming of his head. Nay Naruto-kun, Satsuki said as she shook Naruto. Naruto then looked at their position Satsuki was sitting on his lap. But because of that he was able to see her breast through her blue kimono that Tsunami gave her. Naruto had a nosebleed and pushed her off. W-Y-A or W or Y-U-H hiding your gender. Naruto said trying to get back to the original topic. That's true. And why didn't you tell me? I'm your sensei I should know this. Kakashi said. Satsuki looked down. I didn't tell anyone not even Hokage Sama knows. I did it because of the CRA. Satsuki said. Why? Gigi can keep a secret. And what's CRA? Naruto said getting his composure back. Yes he can but he can't keep any secret from the civilian council. The CRA is the Clan Restoration Act. It's a law that affects a clan that is almost extinct. If the last member of the clan is male then he is supposed to have multiple wives. But if the last member of the clan is female they use her as a breeding machine and she won't be able to see the light of the day. Satsuki said sadly. Naruto and Kakashi pitied Satsuki. Naruto looked at Kakashi to check if what she said was real and he nodded. Naruto was shocked. What kind of bullshit law is that? Who made that stupid law anyway? Naruto asked and Tsunami agreed at that the law was stupid. Kakashi signed. It was the Nadaim Hokage, Toborama Senju. The council was furious when Hasirama Senju the Shogai Hokage died and took the Mokuden with him. The council thought the Mokuden was a Keke Genke and they thought that Toborama could pass the genes on so he made the law about the whole multiple wives. Then come of the clan heads agreed that if last member was female they would be used as breeding machines. Which by the way ruined the Kurama clan. Now none of them can even activate their bloodlines without dying. Kakashi explained. Naruto then stared at Satsuki. Then if they find out your real gender you're going to. Naruto couldn't finish his sentence he was too disgusted with the council. Satsuki nodded. I wanted to be with the person I love not some pervert that just wants fame and sex. Satsuki said looking at Naruto with a blush. Then I think we should kill Sakura. Naruto stated. Which got him surprised looks from everyone. W wa. Naruto do you know what you said? Kakashi yelled. Yes I do. But Kakashi sensei you know as well as I do that no one deserves that kind of treatment. Even said person was a stuck up bastard. And not only that once we get in Sakura is going banshee screech the whole news around the village and Satsuki Chan won't be able to be a ninja. Naruto said. Satsuki was blushing and crying at what Naruto said. He cares about me even though I was a jackass. Satsuki thought. And besides you know Sakura is useless. I'd rather have Hinata on this team than her. And Hinata fainting can actually become useful in some missions where is screeching and destroying eardrums will only piss the enemy of and kill us. Naruto said and Kakashi had no choice but agree to that even Satsuki agreed. He's right. No matter how much I hate that pervert white-eyed bitch she is better than Howler Monkey here. Satsuki though while looking at the unconscious Banshee. That is true I mean when Obito fainted that time he saved our butts on that retrieval mission. Kakashi thought remembering his genin days. That may be true but killing a fellow ninja will give you the death penalty. Kakashi said. Still they would want the body. Kakashi tried to reason. Fine let's say we burned down Gato's hideout and didn't know that she was inside because we assumed that she was following Sasuke. Naruto said getting irritated that Kakashi was trying to stop him from killing the Howler Monkey once and for all so that they could have peace and quiet. Not like anyone's going to miss her. People would be happy that the Howler Monkey died. Naruto thought. Naruto. See, Kakashi said. Fine, fine but we better think of something so that Sakura doesn't go blab this all over the village. Naruto said giving up temporarily. 
he was still thinking of ways to get rid of her so that it doesn't point to him. That's true. But wait Satsuki aren't you allowed walking around freely as a girl? I mean you're a ninja of the village that means only the Hokage can make decisions for you not the council or anybody. Kakashi stated, which when Satsuki thought about it made sense. Why didn't I think about that? I could have gotten rid of the fangirls when I graduated and I could have confessed to Naruto without any problems. Satsuki thought and started banging her head on the table. Tsunami giggled at Satsuki's antics. And also Tsunami-san why aren't you surprised about this? Kakashi asked and Naruto agreed with him. Yeah the moment we brought Satsuki we were already here with 20 outfits. Naruto asked. Oh that I figured it out on the first night I saw her. Tsunami said I smiling. Naruto and Kakashi. Confused face. They looked at Satsuki to see if that was true. Satsuki nodded. It's true she was the first person to find out. Satsuki said and both Naruto and Kakashi were on their hands and knees depressed and repeating. I'm a failure as a ninja. Over and over. They stopped when they heard Sakura moving. Oh crap what do we do? Naruto started to panic as did Satsuki. Quick Satsuki put your genjutsu back on. Kakashi said hurriedly. Satsuki nodded and did what she was told. Sakura woke up Nad looked at her surroundings and saw Tsunami and her team. What happened? Sakura asked. You fainted during the middle of the battle while guarding Tazuna. Kakashi said in a fake angry voice but it worked since Sakura was starting to get scared. Komenasai sensei. Sakura apologized then remembered her touching Sasuke's boobs. She saw Satsuki and went over to her and put her hands on Satsuki's chest. It was flat. Sakura what are you doing? Satsuki said getting angry in Sasuke's voice. Sakura realized that she may have had a dream and apologized repeatedly. Satsuki was angry that Sakura thouched her breast two times. I wish Naruto-kun would touch my breast. Satsuki thought disappointedly. It was the day the bridge was finished and Team 7 was leaving. The whole village came and was saying their farewells to Team 7. Inari was in the front trying hard not to cry. Yo Inari it's alright to cry as long as you're happy. Naruto said. I'm not crying but it's okay for you to cry Nisan. Inari said. Are you kidding me shinobis don't cry. Naruto said as he turned his back to him. Yeah then what are you doing dumbass? Sakura thought but then turned her attention to Satsuki. Everyone waved goodbye. Hey tu san what are you going to name the bridge? Tsunami asked. What about? The awesome Tazuna bridge to heaven. Tazuna said. Hell no. Came the reply of many people. Tazuna was moping and saying. But I built the bridge. How about the. The great Naruto bridge. Inari suggested. Lot of people agreed. That's good but I feel like we should call. The awesome Tazuna bridge to heaven. Tazuna said. No. With team 7 in front of the gates of Konoha. Finally home, Naruto shouted as both Azumo and Kotetsu the Eternal Chunin laughed at his antics. Backslash. Go to have you back Naruto-kun. Kotetsu said. Good to be back. You have no idea how much of a headache I have from Howler Monkey. Naruto said pointing to Sakura. Hey. Sakura yelled. Ha 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 I can imagine. Azumo said while taking his finger out of his ears. All right let Sakura you can go home. Sata Sasuke and Naruto come with me to the Hokage. Kakashi said. Sakura was about to yell that where Sasuke goes she goes but Kakashi told her they would be talking about porn with Hokage which made her go home. Kakashi signed and went with Satsuki and Naruto to meet the Hokage. Hokage Room. Team 7 minus Sakura entered the Hokage Room. They were able to catch the Hokage not doing his duty but reading ICHA ICHA. The Hokage put the book away and smiled at the team. Where's Sakura? The Hokage asked. She's dead. Naruto stated. Naruto. Kakashi said. Hey if you let me finish I would have said in my mind. Naruto said. Kakashi signed. The Hokage chuckled at the scene. This is just like Miento and Kakashi when Kakashi said Obito died. 
Here is and though to the time where he had little paperwork. Anyway how was the mission? Here is and asked. Awesome. Naruto said fist bumping the sky. Haruans gave a chuckle Naruto. Kakashi signed and said. Hokage-sama we have something to tell you.